Hello everyone, my name is Cubic, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a add-on non-ELS vehicle to your server that you've previously set up. My previous tutorials show you how to set up an FX server on your local host, but today I'm going to be showing you how to actually add on a non-ELS vehicle. The vehicle I'm going to be using today is from Zico. Zico creates premium vehicles, his link will be in the description. So this vehicle is already going to be 5M converted and is what is known as 5M ready. LCPDFR.com does have a selection of vehicles which are 5M ready as well as GTA5Mods.com. So you know that it's GTA, uh, sorry, you know it's 5M ready because there's the metadatas as well as the vehicle files already extracted out of the DCF file. Again, I'll be doing another video on that soon. So stay tuned for that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our FX server, the folder that we created earlier. We're going to be going into the TX data folder, the CF default folder. These folder names might be slightly different for you. So just make sure you do follow along with how you've set up your server in the previous. Head into the resources folder and we are going to create a folder called TAU. I've already created this earlier. Um, so because that is, that's going to be the spawn code of the vehicle. So we're going to be heading into this folder. Now we're going to create a stream folder. The stream folder is where you put the vehicle files. So we're going to be copying these three files and putting them in. Next, we're then going to come back to the main default TAU file and we're going to be putting in the meta files. Next, in order to make a vehicle run or in order to make a resource run on a 5M server, you need what's called an FX manifest file or a resource.lua. In this case, we're going to be using a FX manifest. This is going to be available in the description. To show you what it looks like, is essentially you're calling any meta files that's in this directory to be called in for 5M. Now that we can close this. Now, the folder name is going to be TAU. So that's what the resource is going to be called. So you're going to rename it and then you're going to copy it. Head back to the CFX default file and go into the server CFG. You can use any notepad editor you like to with this. Now, underneath ensure vmenu, because that's what we've already done, we're going to now ensure the TAU vehicle file. And then we're going to do control S or go file save and we can close this. Next, you're going to want to go back to FX server and go into the artifact server. And like before, find the purple icon, which is right here and start the server. As you can see, the server has now started and you can see that TAU has started. Now, if it comes up saying that it's using physical memory, don't worry about it. It's just that it's using uh, 4K textures. Uh, if you do want a video on that in the future, let me know in the comments below and I'll make a video on that. I'm going to quickly go into the server and just quickly show you that the vehicle works. Okay, so now that we can see that the vehicle has spawned in and we're going to exit out of that menu and if we press E, it's going to light up all of the lights. Don't worry how my on mine, the uh, white textures at the back. That's just because I'm running a texture pack. But yeah, so that's the vehicle. 
Uh, again, you can use the V menu to change if there's any liveries on it, make it unmarked or whatever. If you have any other questions, comment below and I'll be happy to help. Join the Discord server for more information and if you have any questions or anything, have a wonderful day.